Welcome to the Elder Abyss Show. For talking videos, it's the place to go. Game tips, rants, tactics, and more. What you'll find here, you can never be sure. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Uh, this is part uh, two of the last episode that I brought you where we were kind of expounding and expanding upon some of the games that we encounter that, well, that keep us coming back to Battlefield, <laughs> to Bad Company too. Um, as of right now, we're looking at 159 tickets, 158 to 146, I think it is. So it's starting to close up a little bit, getting to be a little bit of a tighter game. We're going to watch this develop as it goes on. For a few, or a full explanation of of why I brought you guys this game and all that good stuff, as we watch this complete foo bar on the screen, man. Let's just soak this in. Pistols, grenade. I throw an ammo back at him for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that worked out, but it did. <laughs> but I'm going to, uh, there's an annotation in the beginning of this video. Uh, I meant to mention that, then I got sidetracked there. But you go check out the first part of this if you happen to come across this video first for the full explanation of what's going on here and, and, uh, and what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> I'm still giggling about that that mess back in that house, <laughs> but but I digress. As we run up on the UAV, there's a bunch of dudes back there. Love that grenade, man. If you toss that grenade right up in the air right there, and uh, it'll come down right on the UAV. I've got so many airburst grenade kills there that it's funny. I need to uh, I need to compile a just a little series of those because some of them are hilarious man if you work the time and an angle out on those grenades <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with them <laughs> but back to the game oh let's see right now we got 145 to 115 so we've pulling a little bit of a lead out here and we've got two points season uh, being contested and so is B and I believe that leads to a comeback on their part because I know they grabbed two points here pretty soon and I think they grab all three for a little while if I remember correctly and that's what you get for shooting me right there son you get shot <laughs> so spawn back on A and this guy's just not paying attention to the back door uh, that's not a good place to set if that gentleman happens to be watching this don't set right there <laughs> for the rest of you don't sit right there it's a bad spot <laughs> uh, so we're trying to try to get a almost got it and I think I goof around here and yeah stick my head out and run around the middle of the road where I shouldn't be oh 121 to 91 really man it's just gonna tighten up thought this was a better game I know it will you can do it <laughs> sniped in the back but just remember that I got sniped in the back right there that comes into play later near the end I believe this guy yeah that guy and there was another medic on the other team that was just tearing us up uh, they always seem to be in the right place at the right time and you know how it is when you're playing guys like that it's you know you start wondering man how do they always know where I'm at <laughs> but here comes I believe this is upcoming a good demonstration of the AUG and that double spray that I was talking about oh yes 
I think both of them just happened to spawn there, but that's what I was referring to with that consistency on the AUG that you can rely on it to get you those double sprays because it's the the rate of fire and the ammo as long as they're you know if you got two guys together you can manage to take them out it'll deliver the power you need at the right rate you know, pull through for you in most cases unless something gets completely off kilter on you and jacks you up and that guy on the construction was a little far outside my range for this gun but that gentleman right there well within it Pops a little headshot on him. Love that. And there's that gold star I was telling you guys about in the last episode. I, I knew it was in this game somewhere. I just couldn't remember exactly where it was. Uh, also, kind of leaning back on a, a topic that I brought up but I never expounded upon in the last episode was that thought that I shared with you that I have a believing or a belief that more good games are going to be had in Bad Company 2 over between now and the release of Battlefield 3. And the reason is, if you guys have probably noticed this as well, there's a lot of new players in the game that are ranking up and maturing in the game. And there seems to just be... Oh, here we go. Another double spray. <laughs> But there seems to just be more cannon fodder, I guess you could say, in this game lately. But as these guys mature and get used to the game, and I think all of the, you know, the, all the publicity and, and hype and all that from Battlefield 3 is already starting up. So I think that's going to drive a lot of guys into Bad Company 2 at this juncture to kind of check it out and, and see what's going on in the battlefield. So we've, I think that's why we've seen a lot of newer guys, and I think we'll continue to see a lot of newer guys that are yeah. well, basically new to the community, I guess you could say. Because I, I know personally I seem to run into a, 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 quite a few. Every, every game session that I hop on and play this, I always run into several low-ranked guys and, and mid-ranked guys. As, and look at that, yet another double. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That AUG's a beast, man. At that range, it is a beast. It will perform for you. But then you have instances like this where I just can't kill a guy. And I really should have reloaded my AUG and took my time there. I pushed it. 1911 just didn't come through for me. 2%, man. Don't you hate that? <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. There's a horn. 33 to 31. Now we've got us a close game. Now we're down to the wire. At this juncture, though, man, it's so tight. Let's see, we've actually 29 to 30 now. That, you know, it's important to get kills. But it's also, man, so important to not get killed. Especially, as you can see, the enemy holds two points. So that they've got the flags ticking down on our tickets as well. Generally, when the game, you know, when it gets down to 20-some tickets, the other team, a good portion of the time, has vastly more tickets. And you'll see a lot of guys just kind of abandon the conquest points and, and just go for kills. But in this situation, the conquest points are going to make or break the outcome of this game. As we're looking at 17 to 20, 16 to 20. Oh, and I just got tugged down by VSS. <laughs> oh, there's always a dude right where you don't want him to be. But in this game, I, I may have mentioned this in the first one. I don't remember. But I think one of the reasons this game was so epic for us was, if you've noticed, there is pretty much nobody sitting on the outskirts of the map. We've got both teams down in the mix. Which was a real, a real pleasure, given the way it usually works out. And I know you guys experience it all the time, just as I do. 
that where you end up with guys sitting way back on the outskirts of the map and not helping out, not down the mix. But in this game, everybody's down there, and now we've got nine to four. Oh, but look at that. We got the points. Ticket bleed is working in our favor, baby. Come on. That's right there, I'm going up for that sniper I was talking about, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. We pulled it out. That is a game that we love to play. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you soon. Later.